Hi. This is Karthik. I welcome you all for this session. In this session, I am going to teach you basic folder management. Once again, I repeat the topic basic folder management. So, in this topic, we are going to see how to create a folder, how to create folder inside a folder, how to delete a folder, how to copy and paste a folder, how to change or rename a folder, and how to save a data inside a folder, how to change the folder icon, how to compress a folder, and how to create a shortcut to a folder, and how to hide a folder. At last, we are going to change the desktop background as we like or to a specific color. So once again, I repeat the steps. So first, we are going to create a folder and folder inside folder and how to delete a folder and how to copy and paste a folder. And then we are going to open a WordPad and we are going to type something and we are going to save inside the folder. And then we are going to change the folder icon and we are going to compress the folder and we are going to create a shortcut to the folder and we are going to hide the folder at last we are going to change the desktop background so now we are going to create the following folder structure so where we are going to create the following folder structure we are going to create the following folder structure in desktop the first folder we are going to create in the desktop is e-commerce and inside the folder e-commerce, we are going to create a new folder called assessment method. And inside assessment method, we are going to create four folders, namely assignment 10 marks, final exam 50 marks, first exam 20 marks, mid exam 20 marks. So we will start our practical session. So this is called as desktop. So how to create a folder? Just right click on the desktop. Just go to new where you can find folder. I repeat the steps. Just right click on the desktop. Just go to new and click on folder and type e-commerce. And then how to get into this folder. Just double click the folder in order to get into it. And then we want to create a new folder. How to create a new folder. Right click just go to new and click on folder. It's the usual process. Instead, you can see the folder icon on the top. We can use this folder icon in order to create a new folder. Just click on the folder icon. So where you can get a new folder. And name the folder as assessment method or methods. So just double click this folder in order to get into it. Then we want to create four folders, namely first exam, 20 marks, and mid exam, 20 marks, and then assignment. 10 marks and final exam 15 marks so now we have created the following folder structure so let's check out what is the next step so number two delete the folder mid exam 20 marks so we want to delete the mid exam 20 marks so where is the folder so mid exam 20 marks so how to delete the folder just right click on the top of the folder where you can see delete in order to delete it once again I repeat the steps on the top of the folder right click then go to delete or else just click the folder and use the delete key in your keyboard so now I'm, I'm going to use right click and delete and now copy the folder first exam 20 marks and change the copied folder name to first so what we are going to do is we are going to copy this first exam 20 marks so how to copy it so on the top of the folder right click 
where you can find copy. Again, I will repeat the steps. On the top of the folder, right click and where you can see copy. And now where you want to paste the folder. So right click here and paste. Now you can see the folder, it's a copy of the folder. And you want to rename this folder to first. Yeah, see? We change the copy name folder to first. So how to rename this folder? Just right click on the top of the folder where you can find rename. If you wish to change the name, you want to use the rename option. And name it as first okay and now open a word pad and we want to type the following so I will copy it so how to open the word pad so just go to start this is called a start button and where you can find windows accessories where is windows accessories Yes, here's the Windows Accessories. Just click on the Windows Accessories folder and where you can see WordPad. Just click on WordPad in order to open it. And then type the following. So type your name and forward by which college you are studying and the city. For example, any data inside this WordPad. After typing this, we want to save the WordPad as task 1 where we want to save inside the folder e-commerce. So how to save the WordPad? Simple. Go to file and go to save. When you click on save, it will take you to a dialog box. It is called as a dialog box. Where you want to navigate to desktop because your folder is in desktop. Just click on desktop and look for your folder so e-commerce just open the folder and you want to save and you want to save as task 1 and save and just close it and now change the folder icon as you like so now we are going to change the this folder icon as we like so how to change this folder icon it's very simple just on the top of the folder right click go to properties and go to customize where you can find change icon just click on change icon and select any of the icon as you like click ok apply ok see now the icon has been changed now if you wish to change once again just on the top of the folder right click go to properties and go to customize Go to folder icon, change any one of the icon as you like. OK, apply, OK. Just refresh it in order to change the icon. And next one, you want to compress the folder e-commerce and you want to create a shortcut to desktop. So how to compress this folder? What is mean by compression is a technique of reducing the memory size of a folder is called as compression so how to compress this folder on the top of the folder right click where we have a lot of options like add to archive or add to ecommerce.wire compress and email and compress to ecommerce.wire and email so we have four options among those options we are going to use add to ecommerce.wire because it will add in desktop next to your folder so now you can see there's a folder and this compass folder and next task is how to create a shortcut to this folder so just right click on the top of the folder and go to send to and create shortcut that is desktop create a shortcut once again I repeat the step right click the folder go to send to and then where you can see desktop create shortcut. So now this is a shortcut. It's a folder, it's a compress folder, it's a shortcut. Next is hide the folder. 
if you wish to hide the folder so which folder you want to hide in the top of the folder right click go to properties where you can see hidden just click it or check it and apply okay okay now you can see you cannot see the folder now if you wish to see the folder just go to this PC then go to view and go to option change folder and such option and go to view and we have two option don't show and show you need to show you need to view the folder use show hidden folders apply okay now where is the folder where is the folder here you can see the folder and last one is we want to change the desktop background to a solid color so how to change the desktop background to solid color just right click go to personalize where you can see background click on background if you need pictures or slideshow or solid color now we need solid color and change the color as you like by clicking it just close it you can see I think you guys have enjoyed this video thanks for watching this video